what if they ask why do you want to work with uh in the NICU specifically yeah well I feel like like I said I really love I've worked with the pediatric population in like so many settings and with so many kids and different abilities and age groups that I just knew I wanted to work with kids in some capacity and then during nursing school my third semester we had a peds rotation and my first day was in the NICU and I wish I could just give it actual like words or point to something specific, but honestly, I really just clicked with it. I was just so enthused and passionate about just helping the sickest, smallest little beings and helping them be able to go home and be with their families and really give them, get them back on track. And then my preceptorship, I feel like I got a better and wider scope of what being a NICU nurse really is. And I just really love that usually you can build a bit of a relationship with the families here the kids are here more long term you get to really get in depth with the diagnosis and really get to learn something new every day you get to just enjoy that patient longer which i something really admire and i feel that you are a really big part in their care and you become a really big part in that child that kid's childhood whether they remember it or not and you're doing something really important for that family and you can really make that situation you can make that family stay in the NICU something positive and something that they're thankful for and isn't trauma and not traumatizing as opposed to something that's scary and something that that family feels very alone in and I feel that I would just uh, be able to make the biggest impact as a nurse in the NICU. Can you tell us a little bit why um, why you'd like to work in the ICU? Absolutely yeah so they might um, say like um, wait, so you you do have like your capstone or whatever in the ICU, right? In that ICU? Yeah, it was cardiac ICU, yes. Because a lot of times they'll say like, oh, I see you don't have any like experience in this. Why? So it's good that you have that. Um, so um, yeah, what if they ask you why ICU? Yeah, I, I love this question because I just, I, I feel so strongly about this specialty and I was really intentional in pursuing it. Um, honestly, Cardiac ICU was introduced to me by my clinical instructor. Um, I always thought critical care would just be so fascinating just because of the fast pace. And um, I just feel like you learn something new every day. Um, but my clinical instructor specifically said to me, I, I feel like with your background and um, how you like to think in, in clinicals and all the questions that you asked, I feel like you would be really well suited for cardiac. And um, yeah, I just, I think something that I didn't expect about cardiac ICU, but what I loved about it is just the continuity of care you get with the patients. Um, oftentimes the nurses take care of the same patient over multiple shifts and it's amazing to see the progress that they make. They come in and they're intubated and they have all these drips and um, their hemodynamics all are all over the place and uh, gradually you extubate them, you titrate down their drips, you get them up to the chair, you get them walking. And um, it's really rewarding to see that. And I think that's so unique about cardiac too, is you, you get to really see that progress and, and just obviously, you know, it's, it's a critical unit and there are poor outcomes that happen with patients, but I think so much more so like I've seen progress and just, I don't know, I, I feel like it's just so rewarding and it's something I really want to continue in my career. Cool. Cool. That was perfect. If you find these videos helpful and you want to grab your own list of nursing interview questions, over the years I've collected every question that any new grad has told me they've been asked in their new grad nursing interview and I've compiled it into a 22-page 72 question PDF that you can download. It's $5, but with your discount code, you can get it for $3. Uh, so your discount code will be just YouTube. Um, so I'll put the link in the description below. Go ahead and check that out if that's something that you think would be helpful. The idea is hopefully you'll encounter any questions that they're likely to ask you to help minimize any surprises during your actual interview. Can you please tell us why why NICU? Um, so NICU, uh, one of the biggest biggest thing is of course I'm being a lactation consultant and um, lactation practice is really important in NICU infants. Um, and I, like I said earlier, I have a certificate um, called breastfeeding NICU infants because I was interested in, um, you know, just supporting any 
kind of you know difficulty or challenges uh, with as much as I could, um, as promptly as possible as well. Um, and NICU because I myself had a, a hard time with my first infant and it was challenging. At that time, I met so many nurses who was very caring and passionate. Um, and I basically that was a turning point for me to pursue my nursing career. And I would love to be basically like them. Um, so I would love to support everybody who's going through a challenging time as a new family or new parents. So that's the reason why I would like to be part of the new family. Okay. So they, they, could that? Say, <laughs> they could say, oh, I see you didn't do a preceptorship. Why are you choosing our units? Okay. Well, see, that's the thing. I don't know. I mean, I feel like med surge and step down are kind of not, they're not like the same, but they're, they're very similar in a sense. So I think with both of them, um, you will get, um, a lot of really great time management skills. You'll probably be exposed to a lot of different patient populations. So, you know, you'll get to have a vast, you'll just be exposed to like a lot of different lot. Okay. disease processes and, and like yeah. be able to develop different kinds of skills rather than if you were on like, okay. you know, just a cardiac floor or like, you know, just a transplant floor or something more yeah, special. I like different populations and yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, if I were the reason why I want to choose this unit um, as for myself, I feel like I'm really detail oriented but I also do know how to manage my time really well. And I feel like in this kind of, you know, environment, I'm able to excel because I can manage my time and I am detail oriented. I'm safe and I can make sure that my patients are getting the best care, but also um, in a timely manner. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Uh, I, this is, it's coming off kind of like cocky. Like they're going to be like, okay. oh, Brad, I guarantee you, your time management is crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So maybe more so like, more like gratitude really... for the opportunity because you okay. like being challenged. You like being like, you like working in a fast paced environment where you can be exposed to yeah. developing a lot of different skills for a lot of different kinds of patients. Okay. Maybe? That's true. Like, instead of okay, like, like, I'm that. really good at this, be like, I really yeah. enjoy the this thing, maybe. Okay, that's true. Yeah. That's good. I thrive okay, so. in such and such environment. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I really like this unit because I feel like it's a place where I can be challenged and really develop my nursing skills even more, such as like time management and things like that. Um, yeah, along the lines of that. Yeah. Okay. Like, maybe something <laughs> like, I would be really happy to work on either a, a med surge or a step down floor because okay. I really enjoy working in a fast paced environment where I can okay. think critically about prioritization and be exposed to a lot of different patient populations so that I can, as a new grad, especially develop my skills. While it would be really interesting to work on a specialized floor, I think it's a really great learning opportunity for for me as a new grad to really be in the kind of environment that I think I would grow a lot in. And I think I would fit well in something like okay, that. You're so good at this. <laughs> I've heard a lot of interviews. Well, I came to the right person then. Yeah, I, I love this stuff. I think it's a lot of fun. I have something for all of you that I'm very excited to finally tell you about. It's something that I've been working on for over a year. And this is great for nursing students who are just starting out. This is also great for the person who has an interview in a few days and is trying to put all of the pieces together so that they can be organized and confident going into their interview. And it is my solution to what I hear from all of these nurses that you see in these videos. They all tell me, I know something like that happened, but I can't remember it now and I wish I'd written it down. I know a lot of clinical instructors and nursing professors encourage people to write down their clinical experiences so that you can remember them later, especially when you're in front of a hiring manager interviewing for your dream job and it's something that happened, you know, months or even years ago and you want to be able to articulate it well. It can be so valuable to have everything written down. So I've made a, it's, 
a hybrid between a clinical journal so that you can save all of your memories from clinicals, but it's also divided up by question. So for example, let's say you had your first rapid response that day, you would flip to the question section that says, tell me about your most critical patient. Write down everything that you can remember, you know, while you're waiting for post-conference or whatever it is, whenever you have a few minutes. And then when you finally get that call out of nowhere asking if you would be open to coming in for an interview for your dream job that's in two days, you have everything organized. And then it's also a nice thing to have looking back, remembering all your first patients and the first time that you did all these different skills that you're learning. Um, so I tried to make it all cute and aesthetic for you guys. Um, it also includes why they ask certain questions, what they're looking for, do's and don'ts for answering questions, and then it has clickable QR codes so that you can watch examples of how other people have put their answers together who've been successful in getting the job that they wanted through their interview style. Um, so it is about 250 pages. It's also meant to be sort of a how-to DIY version of the online one-on-one -on -one coaching for situations where you may not necessarily want to hire a coach for your answers. It is a fillable PDF. It also has other sections like, you know, frequently asked questions, things like, what should I wear? What do I do if I'm nervous? What should I put in my portfolio? I could talk on and on about this thing. I've I've worked on this, like I said, for over a year. I'm really excited about it. It's finally available. I do have a discount code for supporters of the channel, currently for 50% off if you use your discount code.